All right, so welcome to another video. It's been a very long time that you guys have been requesting for this. So I finally decided I do some research and make a video for you guys in which you can get a definitive answer. What is the best alternative to MIUI camera on AOSP ROMs for the POCO X3 Pro? Now this might not be the best result. Don't quote me on this result. Things will keep improving with Gcam. But so far, I think after playing around with it for a few hours and clicking a few shots, trying slow motions, portraits and whatnot, I think we might have a decent solution to your camera needs on USB ROMs. So in this video, we are going to install the possible best Gcam and XML combination and I'll show you all the settings that you need to do in order to achieve the results that I've achieved over here. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, well, please join us on Telegram. We have more than 1500 members over there. We are growing every single day with similar devices. And you can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, so now I already have Gcam installed over here, but I'll take you through the complete process. But before that, let me quickly give you a glimpse of what we are expecting over here, right? So this is the Gcam we are talking about, and I clicked a few cats. I think you can see that pretty clearly. This was in portrait mode. Uh, if you can see over here, this is just clicked recently. And this is a 12 megapixel mode and stuff like that. Bhima, the footprint or the camera fingerprint there. This is yet another picture. And now this is a slow-mo. Just have a look at this. In my opinion, this looks really, really beautiful. It's captured very well. This is just outside my house. And this is a picture that was clicked. Just look at the detail over here. It's pretty crisp, pretty beautiful. Now look at this picture over here. I think I'll uh, increase the brightness all the way. Now just have a look at the detail in this particular photo. It's pretty good. And uh, then this particular picture, look at the vibrant colors and detail even after zooming in. Look at this, just look at this. There are a bunch of slow-mos that I have tried as well. So the results are pretty good. You know, even with the front camera, back camera, you will see that almost all the cameras are working absolutely fine. Even the slow-mo is working absolutely fine. Portrait, night sight, everything works absolutely okay. So now let me guide you through the process of installing Gcam. Now to do that, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uninstall this. Okay, bam, uninstalled. Now, a very, very easy way to fine tune your photography on POCO X3 Pro is go to Telegram. If you don't have an account, create one and go to this group called POCO X3 Pro Photography, right? Now, the moment you go there, you can actually go ahead and type this hash forward slash notes. There you go. These are all the notes over here. And if you type Gcam, somebody just did it over here. As you can see, this is the one that we're using BSG 8.1, right? And we are using MK's OSS XML. Now, what is the XML and how to load it? Load it, I'll show you. But if you are on a ROM, which has a vendor based on MIUI, make sure you download the normal XMLs. And if you are on a ROM, which has OSS vendor, you download these OSS XMLs. We are using the MK XML over here. You can try different XMLs. So first, let's go to BSG over here. Okay. Now, this is the latest one. 8.1.101 A9GV1X MGC APK. So you can, you know, download it over here. Say save to downloads. Let's go ahead and do that. We have a decent internet connection, so it should happen really, really fast. Now, installing Gcam, you know why the download happens. Installing Gcam is no rocket science, but getting the right combination, getting the you know right features working for Gcam on any given ROM is what matters. And that is what I'm going to guide you through, guys. So basically, you have to first install Gcam and then you have to do a bunch of settings and then you have to load a particular XML and then bam, you are absolutely good to go. You will also get 4K video recording and you should be having good video stabilization as well. So now this APK is downloaded, okay? Now remember we were talking about XML, right? So let's go all the way down and let's see here. We have MK's OSS XML. So let's click here and let's save this to downloads once again. Okay, now that's saved. 
Now, the first thing that you need to do here is install this particular GCAM like a normal APK for which we will be going to the file manager. Okay, and then go to download, then go to telegram. Okay, list. Now, this is the GCAM that we downloaded. Continue install. Okay, now let's go ahead and open this. Allow, allow, allow all the permissions. Okay, now at this point, everything should be working. Most of the things should be working, but you might not get the best experience. Now to do that, the first thing to do is load the XML for which we will go to settings over here and go to configs, load and select the download folder, select telegram and select this XML that we downloaded. Gcam will restart and bam, you have everything ready. Now at this point, there are some settings that you will need to go through, follow step by step. First, let's set up the lenses. So let's go to settings here and then go to modules, the back camera, model, set it to pixel 5, frames HDR plus enhanced, set it to 15. Okay, now you need to repeat this step for the 0.9 lens, the one lens and the front lens. You will see that I have pixel 5 and the HDR enhanced at 15. So one by one, go ahead and do, the, do these two settings for all the four lenses, three lenses at the back and one lens at the front of the camera. Now we move to the global settings. So go to the global interface and select Pixel 4 XL over here. The JPEG compression selected to 100%. Anti-banding selected 50. Now one more feature over here, auto night sight, enable this so that it switches to night sight whenever it is needed. Okay, now we will go to advanced. Okay, now over here, enable raw plus JPEG control, also enable HDR plus control, right? So make sure these features are enabled over here. Now go back once again, scroll down, make sure video stabilization EIS is enabled, force 4K 60, enable this. And also go ahead and enable focus tracking video, right? Now in the settings part, we are done. Gcam will once again restart. Scroll down here or swipe down. HDR plus set it to enhanced. Google AWB set it to on. Night mode is auto, let it be. Raw plus JPEG, disable and put it to JPEG. If you want to use raw for editing photos and stuff, you can actually go ahead and do that. No problem with that. But if you move to the front camera, first time you will have to, you know, drag this down again and you can enable face retouching. It sort of works. You can have selfie, light, HDR enhanced, enable this, AWB, enable this. And we've set it to JPEG only. Now at this point, all the features that we need have been enabled. So, you know, let's actually go to the back camera here. Let's keep a subject over here. Let's see. Okay. Focus, click. There you go. As you can see, look at the clarity. I think you can see already. Now, talk about portrait. If there are human faces, animal faces, portrait will work. Now, when we go to the main camera, you have this 0 0.9 lens over here. Let's see here. There you go. This is sort of macro wide angle. Let's see the wide angle here. As you can see, wide angle is working absolutely fine. Night sight. What about night sight? Have a look at this. Night sight is working as well. Now we move to the video section wherein we have slow motion. Okay. Now, in case Gcam crashes for you once or twice, don't worry. This is pretty normal when you start using it initially. But as you can see here. Okay, now it's flickering because we don't have enough light. But if you do this. Let's see here. There you go. So in good light, your slow-mo would look pretty perfect and pretty neat and stable. So, you know, look at these pictures over here. Look at the quality. These are, this is the quality you are getting on uh, AOSP ROMs, which is a good thing.
look at this slow mo in maybe landscape mode do we have orientation disabled let's keep it on okay and let's see this there you see So yes, all in all, this is a quick step-by-step -step guide to install the best Gcam and XML combination. You can of course go to the Poco X3 Pro photography group and you can try different Gcam variants, you can try different XML variants. But this is a combo that has been working really great for me. This was a step-by-step -step guide. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.